Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Bricanio BQ. Today we're making one of my favorite dishes, spaghetti squash carbonara. Now, you may have heard of linguine carbonara as a more classical Italian dish, but this is a little bit more healthy version where we use spaghetti squash instead of, of, instead of pasta, and it tastes delicious. All you need is about four pounds of spaghetti squash, that's two kind of small to average, maybe smaller than average spaghetti squashes in this case, four eggs, a pound of Monterey Jack cheese, some bacon, and a few other seasonings we'll get to later. But today we're doing something special. We're gonna be using a kitchen tool that chefs have been using since, you know, time immemorial, twisted tea. Now this can be a super versatile, like all around the kitchen utensil, and we're gonna to get to some of those ways you can use it today. I'm gonna to be smoking these spaghetti squashes today. I find it provides a much better texture and a nicer flavor, but you can also make this in the oven. You just need to slice them in half and put them face down, cook them for about an hour or so at 350, and you'll have a great tasting meal that way too. We'll be covering the smoker method today. So without further ado, let's get started. When you're preparing your spaghetti squash, there's just a few steps you need to take care of. First off, we have this pesky stem on the end. Now we gotta get rid of that. Taking our trusted twisted tea. We can see with just a few chops, the end comes off cleanly. For simplicity's sake, it's easiest to do the same with the notch on the other end. And you can see the other end comes off cleanly as well. Now we want to cut this into quarters in order to speed up the cook time and allow more smoke flavor to penetrate. Of course, if you're doing this in the oven, you're just going to cut it in half one time, put those open faces down towards the baking sheet and let those cook. And again, with just a few chops, the spaghetti squash, which normally with a knife with its extremely hard rind would be hard to take apart, falls apart very easily with just a few well-placed blows to the center of the squash. Now we do have all these seeds to take care of. And of course, you can use the end of the twisted tea to just go ahead and groove all those out real easily. And boom. Now we're ready to place this squash on the smoker after, of course, one more quick chop. I'll continue this process for the other half of this squash. And of course, my second squash here, we'll be ready to put this on the smoker at 350 degrees for about an hour or until tender enough that all the strands of spaghetti squash are easily removed with a spoon. Quick side note, all ridiculous twisted tea jokes aside, uh, using a soda can to pry out these seeds is actually like a ridiculously good way to do it. I've, uh, I've made a lot of spaghetti squashes in my time. I've always used spoons to do this. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this is like the easiest it's ever been to take out all the middle seeds and fibers and whatnot. So, uh, <laughs> this is a uh, nice little serendipitous uh, tip here. I'll always use a soda can to get these seeds out from now on. <laughs> While my spaghetti squash is on the smoker, we've got a few other things to take care of. Now the first is to make sure you take your eggs and your cheese out of the refrigerator and let them warm up to room temperature while the squash is cooking. We're going to mix all these together, mix them into the squash once we take it out, and we don't want to cool down because we want the cheese to melt readily as we add the egg cheese mix mixture. But before we get to mixing the eggs and the cheese, it's time for the bacon. Now I know what you're thinking, probably a job for twisted tea, but no. For this, it's probably best to just use a knife. I want to cut this into about one inch long strips of bacon. Now, this is actually my homemade bacon, but you can use store-bought just fine. And once I have all these strips cut up, I'll just place them in the frying pan 
finish cooking them and set them aside until I'm ready to put them into the uh, top or re rather ready to use them as a topping for all the, the spaghetti squash carbonara. And it's just that easy for the bacon. I'll put it on over medium heat, let it cook for a few minutes. And when I come back, I will get to the egg, cheese, seasoning, all that. As you can see, I've fried up my bacon here. It's in nice little crispy chunks now. And I have about 15 minutes left for my spaghetti squash on the smoker. So now it's time to prepare these eggs and cheese and everything that I've had sitting out. They're pretty close to room temperature now. So they'll uh, cook in and melt into the hot spaghetti squash really easily. I've got four eggs, about a tablespoon of herbs to province. You could also just use uh, you know, oregano and basil, whatever dried herbs you might have on hand. And I've got two tablespoons of garlic in my mixture. So I can just quickly whisk that together. And now start using a microplane grater or just a regular cheese grater. I like the microplane because it shaves it into such small pieces that it melts really quickly into the hot spaghetti squash. I'm gonna start with a half pound here uh, just to keep it a little bit lower calorie overall. If you like it really cheesy, you can go with the whole pound. And uh, it's pretty simple from here. I'll just start grating it into the egg mixture. And when everything is, mix is grated, I'll mix everything together. And then we'll come back when it's time to mix all of this into our spaghetti squash after we remove the spaghetti squash from its rind and all that good stuff. So stick with us and you'll see how to make the rest of this delicious spaghetti squash carbonara dish. And since my twisted tea has done its job with the uh, cutting of the squash, I can finally enjoy that sweet tea nectar. Oh yeah. I'm back after having just taken my spaghetti squash off the smoker and to get an idea what we're going for here, you can see how pliable this squash has become rather than how rigid it was before. And that means it'll be really easy to get the strands of spaghetti squash out of the rind. And here's a look at what my egg and cheese and spice mixture looks like now. You can see it's really thick because I've added so much of that shaved cheese into this mixture. And I'll add this into this baking tray once I finish getting all the squash out of these rinds. Now to make this easier, you can kind of bend them just a little bit before you get started. And I was just messing around before this, and to be honest, uh, this also is not a joke. It turns out that soda cans make working with spaghetti squash quite easy. Because of the weight of the can, I can just push it out really easily instead of scraping at it with a spoon. <laughs> it actually works surprisingly well. So I'm going to go through, massage each piece just a bit, and work my way into peeling all the spaghetti squash out of the rind. And I'll be back just a moment to show you what it looks like when we mix it all together. And in order to make sure that all the cheese melts and all the eggs cook, I do have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. I'm only gonna bake it for a few minutes just to make sure that everything gets cooked because the spaghetti squash cools down surprisingly quickly once I start taking it off the rind here. And we wanna make sure that all the cheese melts, all the eggs cook, and we'll be back in just a moment. So I've just finished using, I know this is ridiculous, I was just doing this as a joke at first, but using a soda can of any kind is really the easiest way to get all the spaghetti squash out of the rind, getting the seeds out, it's, uh, <laughs> I find it pretty funny, but, I'm going to now, after I take a sip of this, add this egg mixture into the squash. This is egg, 
cheese, some herbs, salt, garlic. Got it all in there. Now I'll take a spoon, mix it up pretty quickly here. I'll put it in the oven and let it bake for just 10 to 15 minutes until I can tell that all the cheese is melted and the eggs are starting to, or have been cooked completely as well. You do just need to mash up any remaining chunks of the squash. And again, like I said at the beginning, you can do this all in the oven if you don't have a smoker. Uh, well, the reason I like to use the smoker is one, the smoke flavor is nice, but two, it dries out the squash a little more, which is really nice, especially when it comes to leftovers the next day. The squash maintain, maintains a much better texture and it doesn't get so mushy like it can when you cook it in the oven. Overall, I think it provides creates a much nicer end product when you do this in the smoker completely or in the smoker to begin with rather and then just finish it in the oven so now i've got this ready to go in the oven the only thing i'm going to do while this is in the oven is i have uh, some fresh basil i'm just going to chop that up get it ready to put on top i have my bacon here as well I might just throw this in the microwave or throw it on the stove just for a minute or so to heat it back up because it's been sitting for a little bit. And at that point, we'll be ready to go. So I'll come back in just a few minutes to show you the completed product. And uh, I guess that's it. So today we learned that by some twisted kind of fate, uh, Twisted Tea does in fact have a purpose in the kitchen. <laughs> A good one too. Uh, I'll, I'll use a soda can every time I ever make spaghetti squash from now on because that was just like so ridiculously easy. I had the spaghetti squash in the oven for a little longer than I expected. Uh, now you notice that there's no liquid pooling anywhere. That's what you want to look for before you take it out. That means all the eggs have cooked. And what I did at the very end is put it on high broil just to stiffen up the top a little more. You could even do that till it browns some if that's what you like. And now that I've got a little bit in a bowl here, I can just top it with a little bit of bacon, top it with some fresh cut basil. And this is a super delicious super healthy meal and a great like keto or paleo low carb alternative to uh regular linguine carbonara or which is the more traditional italian dish but uh i mean this when you have it i promise you will just fall in love because it is like really savory and the bacon with all the egg and the cheese it just tastes great and the spaghetti squash is a really nice alternative to pasta so that's it for today uh, aside from the fact that if you want to you can always top this with uh, like chipotle or green chili or you could even put chipotle into the egg and cheese mixture but that'll do it for today and as always the spaghetti squash carbonara is gringo tested burkenio approved and I think it's time for just a little more twisted tea.